Sitting there and playing it safe is never going to give you the maximum return in life, period. You can coast by, you can stay relatively risk adverse and maybe enjoy a little modicum of success, but you're never going to achieve anywhere near your full potential if you don't risk it. That old saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained, no risk it, no biscuit. And with this announcement by AEW, that All In is going to be at Wembley Stadium in London, England on Sunday, August 27th. That to me is an indication of AEW wanting to get out of the play it safe business and wanting to go big. That their appetite is growing and that it's time for them to swing for the fences, go big or go home. And honestly, if AEW is as great as so many members of their hardcore cult-like fan base believe them to be, it's time for this company to prove it. There's only so much deflection, so much spin, so many excuses you can make. They've been in existence over three and a half years now. They've got multiple programs that air on national primetime cable television each week. Forget all these fucking excuses. This is AEW's time to go bigger. This is their first real venture into doing a massive stadium show, not 20,000 maybe Arthur Ashe Stadium type of 25-ish thousand people. No, you're talking about real stadium show like true major league, big league shit here. Not only that, this is AEW's biggest venture into the international market. Like if we're beating door or other crap. No, this is it. This is a seminal moment in AEW history. It really is. It's their best chance to be viewed differently as an international wrestling brand and in a mainstream light as well, at least to some degree. Like this is a huge opportunity for them. And I'm already starting to see four and a half months out, all of the hedging of the bets. The show is fucking called All In People. It's not, hey, let me hedge my position here. Bullshit. This company is so goddamn great as you've made it out to be pounding it down everybody's throats and up their arses for over three and a half years. Now's the time to put up or shut the fuck up. It's time to go big. Don't be sitting there and pussing out now. All this talk of, well, if they draw 40 and 50,000 people, that's a huge success. That's defeatist talk. Stop that shit fuck type of AEW fan are you that I'm the one that's being more positive here than you fucking are? No, you need to stop being so goddamn negative and selling shit short. Sometimes logic goes out the fucking door and you do whatever you got to do to make this shit happen. And sitting there and speaking that into existence only helps to create an environment where that can be more likely to fucking happen. It's all in. It's not a kind of half-ass in, half-ass out. But if they fill up half of a 90,000 seat venue, it's okay. No, it's fucking not. That's a failure. Well, technically it would be the biggest gate of all time. It would be the biggest show of all time. They would still be in a stadium that was half empty. That's a fucking failure. You're not going to London to do this with one of your few pay-per-views each year to do it in front of a 50% filled fucking stadium. This show needs to be a WrestleMania 3 type of show, event, moment for AEW. It really does. It needs to be that type of event that puts this company on an entirely different plane. And if your mindset is not on that level, it needs to fucking get there. Why would you book a venue if you didn't have every intention, every plan in the world of selling that fucker out, period? Selling it out is the number one damn goal here. And we're, depending on the setup, 
if it's 80,000 people, 90,000 people, like it's a, for, for football, it could fill 90,000 people. You say, well, what about the rim? And what about the seats? What about the several thousands of seats that you could put in the fucking bowl around the ring? Stop making fucking excuses. 90,000 people. If the setup begs for 80 or 85,000, then that's the goal. Fill that fucker up. A.W. Tony Khan has four and a half months to build towards that moment. That is a shitload of time. And if he is as great of a booker, as great of a promoter, as many of you proclaim him to be, this is the time to fucking prove it, period. Putting 40,000 people in a 90,000 seat stadium is not great promotion. That means having a stadium that needs a show versus having a show that needs a bigger stadium. Because frankly, if we're looking at this roster, they have enough big names here. They really do. They really do. You've got Sting. You've got Jericho. You're going to have CM Punk, you would assume. And you certainly better make sure it fucking happens. They're going to do all in in Wembley in August. you got Brian Danielson. You've got Moxley. You've got some of these guys that have been on much bigger wrestling platforms over the past few decades. Whether it be WWF slash E, WCW. These are big established names. Big enough that if you use them as the core foundation of what you build that show around is going to draw a shit ton of people. And then on that second level, you've got as much as I don't fucking like them, Kenny Omega is a draw to at least some degree, especially for hardcore wrestling fans. Same thing with the Bucks. MJF is a draw. If you look at this roster and those names that I just mentioned alone, Sting, Jericho, Punk, Danielson, Moxley, MJF, Kenny Omega, the Bucks. If you can't find a way in four and a half months to build up an event that could put 80 or 90,000 people inside a Wembley Stadium, then you are a shitty ass promoter and booker, period. Not to mention the fact that this is relatively a low risk event for Tony Khan because of relatively unlimited resources. You can spend what you need to make shit happen. Goldberg wants to have a retirement match? You fucking bring him in. For those AEW fans that don't like it, they can eat a fucking dick. Because the name of the game is to sell that fucking stadium out. Goldberg is a step that helps you do that. Then you fucking do it, period. If you gotta bring in Okada, you gotta bring in Mercedes Mooney. You play it right, and let's say all of a sudden Drew McIntyre's contract's up. If he's your big surprise, then so fucking be it. But even if not, my point is you do whatever the hell it takes. And this can't be one of those shows that you're booking just like any other pay-per-view or any other TV show or any other event for AEW. It's got to be the biggest. It's got to be the best. It's got to be the biggest drawing stars. It's got to be the most interesting shit, period. So a lot of that roster needs to not bother coming. If they want to go, they go on their own fucking dime. But you look at what a potential match card could be here. You could do something. And there are so many different spins and takes you could put on this. You know, I'll hear some people say, you could do Sting versus Darby Allen. Fine, I don't give a fuck. That way you're incorporating a legend like Sting and one of your pillars of AEW and Darby Allen. Cool, do that. I personally would maybe want to do like Sting versus MJF or the AEW world title. But there are different options here. But that's how you should be using somebody like a Sting. Do FTR versus the Young Bucks. Make it some fucking two out of three falls match. Whether it's for the belts or not is fucking irrelevant. Kenny Omega versus CM Punk. That's where you do that shit. And if CM Punk doesn't want to do business, then fucking get rid of him. And if Kenny Omega refuses to do business at that show with that guy in that spot for what it means, then fucking fire his ass. Do something like Brian Danielson versus any number of guys. Bring in frickin' Okada, Jay White, Zack Sabre Jr. You want to keep it in-house? Somebody like Ricky Stars. I don't know. You fucking figure it out is my point. You can do the Guns versus the Hardly, Hardy Boys. I almost said the Hardly Boys. I'm sorry. The Hardy Boys. And you say, well, why would you do that? Because you're trying to sell out a 90,000 seat fucking venue. That's why. Bring in Goldberg and have him face Wardlow. 
Do a champion versus champion women's match. Jamie Hayter versus Jade Cargill. Although I know they're going to insist on f fucking putting Soraya in this spot somewhere. Find a fucking match for her. Fine. Do like Chris Jericho versus Adam Cole. Have Powerhouse Hobbs issue an open challenge for the TNT title. And out comes, introduced by Bret Hart, who you have as the host of the damn event, Davey Boy Smith Jr., something that ties back to SummerSlam 92, a kind of full circle type of shit. My point is, is with four and a half months, the resources that AEW has available, some of the name and brand recognition that they have, while certainly not on nearly the same size or scope of WWE, there is enough. If they truly go all in here, they go all in. They absolutely can and should be focused centrally on selling the fucking hell out of Wembley Stadium. 35,000, 45,000, 50,000. That's loser talk. That's defeatist talk. AEW fans, stop being so goddamn negative. The standard that should be set here, the bar that should be measured against for Tony Khan is whether he sells that fucking stadium or out or not. If he doesn't, then he's not nearly as great of a promoter and booker as you claim him to be, which I think scares you a little bit, honestly. If he is every bit of what we've had to hear you shove down our throats for the past three and a half plus years, then he will find a way to go all in and sell that motherfucker out. That's the goal here. You do whatever it takes. You got four and a half months. Figure it the hell out. All the other drama, all that other shit. If anybody isn't down with that, then you fire their ass. That moment could be that WrestleMania 3 type of moment for AEW and put them on a whole different trajectory. That's not hyperbole. That's not me getting caught up in the moment. That's reality. For a company whose biggest shows have done 20-ish thousand people, to go somewhere and do 80 or 90,000 people and do it on an international stage too? Fuck. That absolutely would be landscape changing for AEW. That's the goal here, folks.